All right, how do you guys like the temporary setup I got going on here? I brought all my LED light sticks and a few small little lights right there, that one that's changing right there. I want to be extra, so I'm, I'm making this uh, change colors. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a distraction for you guys or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it there so you guys can look at that instead of looking at my face. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, I am Tung, and today I just want to share my favorite film recipe that I've been using for the past few months. Um, every time I go out, I find that the colors from this recipe resonates with me a lot. We are going to talk about the uh, Joe D'Agostino Nostalgic Negative Film Recipe. This is a film recipe that I discovered through another YouTuber's video. I really love the look of that thing. It just looks nothing like the real Nostalgic Negative on the GFX 100S, but the film recipe still looks good. You can pause the screen and write this down or put it into your camera. I think you need the latest X-Trans sensor to make this work. If you don't have the X-T3, the X-Pro3, the X-T4, the X-S10, this film recipe won't work for you guys, I'm sorry. So I've been experimenting with a lot of film recipes over the past year, mainly from the website FujiXWeekly.com. I've always wanted something that wasn't too stylized, um, if that makes sense. You got the Portrait 400 recipe that it looks great for certain things such as uh, greenery and portraits. Uh, besides that, I don't think it looks good for like street and landscape stuff. And then you've got the Kodachrome 64 film recipe, which is good for street stuff, but not landscape stuff. So I wanted a film recipe that could do a little bit of everything. So just call it like the multi-purpose. Nothing too crazy, just one that I can use on the daily without having to use the raw files to edit. Here lies Joe's nostalgic negative film recipe. I love it for portraits and I love it for my travels. Uh, these are two things that I shoot the most and I have nothing bad to say at all. I'm going to show you guys some images taken with the film recipe aside from some portraits where I did some retouching. Nothing else has been altered. All of this is straight out of camera JPEGs and I really like the look of it. So here, you, here it is. Enjoy some of these photos. Cue photo montage. In the morning. I could be sad about it Maybe that would help me to escape This cold-hearted warfare Cause I don't have any feelings to hide And all you got is insidious words There's nothing to do about it Tell me the, tell me the truth about it But I got no tears that to cry Can you just look me in the eye And tell me what messed up Would you dress up for the part And I think the reason why I like this recipe so much is because of the skin tone. Fuji skin tones look great generally, but for some reason, I never have to work on skin tone much when I shoot with this recipe. I also like the way this uh, recipe handles the color green. Now I hate green with a passion. I do not like the color green when I'm taking photos. Granted, if I'm traveling, then green is fine, but I usually associate green with grass, I, and then I associate grass with front lawns and backyards. And then I associate green with Sony's old color signs, so it really left a nasty taste in my mouth. So whenever I shoot something that is 
uh, predominantly green, I would take out as much green as possible or turn the green into a brown color, like they're dying or don't shoot with greens at all. <laughs> but with this film recipe, they turned the green into a darker green, a smidge of teal. And I think the green with this recipe looks fantastic. So there is my tangent on the color green. Also, this film recipe looks really great during golden hour. It gives such a nice warm tone. It has a nice look and feel to it. When I was walking around the island here, here in Hawaii, I really love shooting with this recipe. It goes well with the palm trees, with the sand and the water around here. So it just makes everything look so beautiful. These are uh, photos that I'm just going to put into like my hard drive as memories. And I really don't want to have to um, edit these photos. It's just something that I want to not have to worry about the colors or the look of it. I just want something that's just, I just want a recipe that works. And this film recipe just works so well with everyday things. And I think that's all I have to say about this recipe. I'm going to continue to shoot with this film recipe. I think Joe knocked it out with this, uh, with this film recipe right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know what is your favorite film recipe uh, you guys are shooting with. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where you're going to see a lot more of my work at I am Tung. And that is it for me guys. Uh, once again, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye.